gunfire in a San Carlos neighborhood. Tonight, new developments after elderly family members called for help and an armed man was shot by police. All of this playing out in an open garage. Tonight, the 60-year-old man is in the hospital and neighbors are shaken. It's nice to have you with us tonight. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Derek Stahl. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill is live in the area for us with what we're learning from police about what led up to this confrontation. Ryan? The investigation is still ongoing, but San Diego PD tells us that they received a call from this man's elderly parents who claimed that he was acting suicidal and threatened them with a loaded handgun. People in the San Carlos neighborhood didn't know what to make of this swarm of San Diego police officers on their block Wednesday afternoon. I've been doing paperwork all day and organizing and I thought I heard like what sounded like gunshots. Within the last 45 minutes, I heard some gunshots and um, I immediately um, turned on uh, the news to see what it might be. Police say what neighbors heard were shots from an officer involved shooting. A radio call prompted officers to respond to the house before the shots were fired. Of a male in, in a house in, in the 6500 block of Bonnie View Drive acting suicidal and threatening his elderly parents with a loaded firearm. Police believe the man's 91 year old father made the call. Once officers arrived at the house on Bonnie View Drive, the 60 year old man was found in the garage of the home with a gun in his hand. He presented that firearm at the officers, prompting one officer to fire his weapon at least one time. The man was later taken to the hospital. As police continue to process and gather evidence at the home, neighbors say the situation is unnerving to see. It's 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 kind of alarming because uh, you know this we live out here because it's a nice, safe community. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone kind of protects each other, and we've um, we're local San Diegans that have been here our whole lives. That police captain was unable to say if a PERT team was called out to this incident. Reporting live here in San Carlos, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.